Hello folks, welcome to another season of Heroes of Might and Magic 3. Uh, it's time for us to jump back into this game, it's been a while. Uh, such a cool game, oh, I just love it so much. Really excited to get in, uh, I've had a real goo to get back into it over the last little while. Uh, what I like to do is, I think I might go for a total of five opponents this time. I like to play on large maps with Underground turned on, um, water content, I might go for islands and see how well behaved that is. Sometimes you, sometimes the maps can be a little bit um, funky when you have islands turned on, but we'll see how it behaves. I'm going to go for normal monster strength at maximum difficulty. I really, really like going on maximum difficulty because um, it, it means that you've got to make some really tough decisions in the early game. Um, in terms of advanced options, I have to pick a colour here. I think I might like to be purple. I don't know why. Ta we're not doing tournaments here, so um, I don't think I don't think that's a thing. Ooh, conflux. Okay. Very very interesting. Uh, I think it works okay. As we reveal more of the map, there'll be less purple on the screen to be looking at. So we have Froysan is our starting town, and in Froizan there is a village hall, a fort, a tavern, and that's it. Oh, we do have the pixie... <laughs> pixie building. And we start with Labitha, uh, who has 24 pixies, 3 air elementals. What do we know about Labitha? She has a ring of conjuring, increases the duration of all of our spells by 2. Very, very good. Uh, very, very useful, especially if we are adept at casting spells. As an elementalist, she is very adept at casting spells, which is great. And she loves casting stone skin. So guess what? Every time we cast stone skin, it's going to last for an extra two turns, which is really, really nice. This will also trigger off uh, slow, which is a really important spell in the earth uh, category. Uh, when we start the game, we know stone skin and... That's it. That's all we know uh, for now. Okay, uh, we have a look in the tavern. We are already being told that the Grail is in the southeast. Someone write that down. Uh, someone remember that because I'll probably uh, forget that when the time comes to start looking for it. Southeast. And we can either take a, <coughs> a witch or a elementalist. Stig the witch or Barissa the elementalist. Um, Brissa has uh, is is a elementalist, so she's a f fellow mage, uh, much like uh, Labitha. She's good at haste, and she comes with a pretty poor army at the beginning. So I'll probably try and buy Brissa uh, before the week is through. Obviously, we have absolutely no money to start with, uh, as we discussed earlier. Um, and if we want to, we can actually have a very quick look at the town types we're up against. We've got. Dungeon, Tower, Rampart, Stronghold, and Necropolis. So there's no doubles. Uh, so there's no situation where sometimes you can get, say there were two Ramparts, um, if you can get a situation where one player in the mid game controls both uh, of those starting towns, you know, that that can create a different dynamic to the, um, the power levels between the factions. Uh, so we're all different, we're all distinct. Um, very, very interesting. Uh, okay, so that's what the town looks like and what our heroes look like. What else do we know about Labitha? She was born poor. Her parents were slaughtered. Peasantry during the war, taken by dendroids and brought into the service in Avli, her power over the earth developed quickly, and then she jumped ship from the uh, Rampart style town to uh, go and pursue her calling in the Conflux. So. Hopefully we can all get behind uh, Labitha. Now, we have a village hall. Uh, we're going to want to upgrade that to a town hall. That's our top priority, 2,500 gold we need to save. Pretty much before we do anything else at all. Uh, we have leprechauns here, which may give us gold. I think I'm tempted to go up this way first. Um, and... Oh, no. Oh, that's a terrible outcome. Uh... This thing doesn't do anything. Ooh, wow. I'm immune to forgetfulness. How wonderful. 
guess how many times uh, forgetfulness is going to be cast in this game by anyone? Yeah, none. Lots of imps. Okay, do we want to take on lots of imps to try to unlock, or do we want to come down here? I can see a chest here. It might be unguarded. I think it's better to hit the great mystical garden. We're desperate for gold in the early stages of the game. There's naked gold here we can go for as well. So we'll curl our trajectory around to get a little bit more movement. You are kidding me. Actually, this one's not too bad, though, but I really want money. Cape of Conjuring. Oh! <laughs> Combo Town, right? So we have the Ring of Conjuring, Cape of Conjuring. Um, I'll have to look it up, actually. I think there's this weird thing that happens with artifacts. If you have the such and such of Conjuring as a, as a parcel, uh, there's might, there might be a third thing of Conjuring that allows you to get a... Um, combine them into one big artifact. I'll need to just double-check how that works. Uh, it doesn't come up very often in random maps, uh, random games. We are in trouble, though. I think I can see... There's someone guarding that could be goblins there. Let's have a look. Yep, yeah, it's goblins. Um, there is a way through. I can walk past them. So I think we'll get the stone and we'll try to unlock that gold. And that'll be day one. As I say, not looking to spend a penny until we can get that town hall. I'm going to make a beeline there. And it looks like we're not doing anything else up here after the... Well, I guess we can go here, right? I've got the spell book, obviously, so... It's not going to matter which way around. We do that. My left clicks aren't always landing, which is a bit annoying. I don't know why that is. Okay, we have the desert next door. It's quite possible that this is area, though, will be completely inaccessible to us for a very long time. The coast down the bottom is interesting. Altar of Earth? Shackles of War? Man, it's all about artifacts. Um, very interesting. Lots of halberdiers are a real, real tough ask for us in the early game. Lots of familiars, not so much. I'm quite eager to try to unlock that mercury mine. A pack of manticores is going to block us off all of this for quite a long time anyway. We can build a, build a uh, ship at some point. This is the effect of having islands, that you do have actually some water on the map. I find sometimes with the random map it doesn't really generate enough water for me. I'd like there to be more. Tempted here with lots of familiars as well to get in there, um, but yeah, for now we need to unlock uh, obviously the stone. In order to do that, we're going to have to get past lots of knolls. We've got a free access to an altar of water though, which is really really good. Um, yeah, and we're going to need to obviously break through these imps as well. So early game looks like it's going to be knolls, familiars, imps. Halberdiers, pikemen, this would be a really good one to smash through as well. Can't see what that is on the other side of there. That might be a that might be a location of some importance. There's like a mud bubbling thing going on there as well. Okay. So let's see what we learn. Stone skin. <laughs> I really want it slow. <laughs> Or anything, um, actually, that I don't already have. Uh, we found 700 gold in that pile. So, sadly, it's going to be a whole extra day before we can build the town hall. Exceptionally disappointing. Uh, we're going to have to make a decision. <sighs> Stone skin isn't enough to win this fight, I don't think. But we probably can win this fight with, with Stone skin. Uh, how long is it going to take me to get there? I'm not fighting the familiars with this army. And I probably don't know... Oh yeah, she has basic wisdom actually, so yeah, she would be able to use that spell. From the magic thought. Um, might be worth popping in here actually as well. Uh, just to see what we've got, but yeah, that's easy. Easy enough for now to just end the turn. Is it worth doing this? Or should we be smashing these guys right now to try to get the town hall today. There's 500 gold in it for us extra. Obviously a day worth of having the town hall. If we do that... Uh, I don't know. I think uh, I'm going to bank on this being a decent spell instead. That's pro That might be wrong. 
bless. I don't think these things can be blessed, even though... Can they? I mean, blessing, as you can see here, damage 2 to 8, that becomes 8. <laughs> so blessing these things is going to be fantastic if we're allowed to do it. Uh, with the sprites, or what are, what are these guys? Pixies. You really, we really don't want to be losing pixies. Uh, we want to preserve their lives for as long as possible. I just don't think we have the luxury, though, in this game. Yeah, so we're going to have to wait another day. Uh... <laughs> I don't know what to do. It might be slightly more efficient to stand here, get this wood, gallop over here, try and knock that over, the, and get the witch's hut and this gold all in one turn. Uh, I think that's what we're going to do. Interested to see if Bless works. I mean, we don't need the gold as urgently now. We could wait another day, because we've obviously had to wait anyway. Uh, so let's do this, let's get that online. And we'll stay, keep them together. Yeah, alright, let's see what happens. I can target them, so that's really going to be good. Uh, so we just wait here. We are happy to trade spell points for... Um, HP basically, we're happy to keep casting things like stones get and bless to, to really minimize the amount of damage we take. Fortunately, imps are fairly useless creatures. Yeah, so. You know what's that gonna do? 23 to 46. These things have. <laughs> these things have 28 health. I don't even think I am gonna bless. Um, but I don't really want to get set upon by the imps that in the following turn. Uh, so I might do a kite move, or I kind of move and counter move. I could actually fly down here and attack these imps on turn two. Maybe use these guys to body block. I think that sounds okay. I don't think it's worth spending spell points yet. Yeah, so there you go. Um, yeah, I think we can alpha strike actually now on turn two. This fight's going much, much better than I thought. Yeah, I don't even need to cast a spell for this. I think it's due, due to the way that they're laid out. Oh, come on, baby. Uh, I think it's due to the way that they've laid out in lots of small stacks. It's just perfect perfect sizing for the pixies. Normally I don't really like pixies um, at the beginning of the game, but with this particular layout, quite, quite good. Should I go again, or should I wait? I feel like I want to move the air elementals to here, because they're going to go next kill the stack that's here and body block. Um, they have health 25, these things are going to deal about at most 14 each, but it's probably more like attack skill 2 against my defense skill 10. I don't even think I want to use her until... Okay, only 5. The imp did 1 damage. Okay, yeah, yeah this is absolutely fine. I don't even think this guy can attack now, because that guy lived. He can't get to me. Oh, come on. Alright, this is her... This is the end of her <laughs> extra turn. And I didn't need to spend a single spell point. What is her morale anyway? It's just a basic morale, we just got lucky. Um, so we'll definitely take this. Gives me confidence, makes me want to go back over and unlock the uh, Shrine of Magical Thought. Anyway, Labitha receives 132 experience, and look at how overjoyed uh, some knight is that she did that. That's obviously not her. Uh, we beat the familiars and the imps. We never tick this. Uh, this is just a feature of the HD um, patch for the game. Um, so a few house rules. I don't tick that. I don't tick the cancel button uh, unless something really ridiculous happened or there's a glitch or something weird happened and I don't want to lose my whole game. Um, I also don't use the... oh! Sometimes it says invite invite hero, I don't like to do that because it's not in the base game. Um, anyway, not a big deal. Alright, Labitha, keep working please. Uh, now, I think I said this in the last video I made. 
with this starting profile, we have to se select gold every time uh, in week one. It's still true well into week two and beyond. Intelligence. An ancient witch living in a strange hut welcomes us teaching intelligence for her own inscrutable purposes. Remind me what that does again. All my spell points, my maximum spell points go up from 30 to 37. Okay, not bad. Increases basically, it turns, it turns knowledge uh, right up to 11. Knowledge and intelligence, some might argue, are two different things, but in this game, they, they're pulling in the same direction. Um, okay. How far can we get, Lavitha? We can get her to here. So, we actually ended up with 4,700. We only needed 2,500, but we can finally buy the town hall. That's a good two turns later than I like, um, and I already feel like we're kind of a little bit unhappy at uh, being this far behind already, but uh, anyway, that's okay. Wow, enemy turn was quick there. I actually forgot that we had, I didn't spot that we had this hut, so we could have burned through all of our 30 spell points and not been worried, and it gives me a lot of comfort going into the Knoll fight here. Uh, we should think though about what we're going to spend our money on. We want to get as many sprites uh, online as possible, as quickly as possible. And the way to do that is to make sure we have a Garden of Life, uh, which gives us 10 additional pixies per week, which is just great. That's going to go from 20 to 30. And we want to upgrade this uh, to get to get the sprites uh, online. Uh, however, having said that, um, do we need to do that immediately? And what is Labitha going to do in the meantime? So what she could do in the meantime is gallop back to the town by the 19 or 20 that are here, uh, upgrade everything. So a thousand bucks to upgrade the lantern, let's say 500 to buy the 20, another certain amount of money, maybe five or 700 to upgrade all our existing pixies, with the idea of then galloping back to uh, purchase some water elementals and then move on to the knolls. I don't know about this. Uh, I do want to poke my head through that doorway as well. I don't know if I should be spending too much money at this water of water of altar altar of water. Um, I'm not sure. Right, folks, just back there. Went and had a quick look. Um, the the two conjuring artifacts do actually uh, combine together. You need the collar of conjuring, and if you've got all three, you can blend them into one single ring of the magi, um, which gives you all of the bonuses. Then makes it basically that your spells never ever run out um, or never ever expire. Um, so not a massive priority. If we come across it, great, but I, I don't think it's going to be a huge deal. Um, I think uh, the other thing is I may have teleported the camera just out of the way so you can see Labitha's army. A um, little bit uh, of resizing just uh, just done there as well. I think um, water elementals, even though I don't have to build the dwelling and uh, I'm going to be letting them go to waste here, um, is, 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 a, is a, a value worth foregoing to get the sprites online. Uh, so we're going to go galloping back to uh, to base here. Um, we're going to upgrade the lantern, upgrade the girls. 120 bucks to do that. Uh, because these things are just spectacular. They're so much better than pixies. Um, and having 44 of them in my army uh, is, is, is pretty darn uh, excellent. Uh, so there's an X there, we've spent, uh, we've built something today, so that's that. And now I'm looking at these, thinking about, before I go and unlock the stone, which, okay, urgently we do need, we are going to pick up some free stone, we're already at five stone. What we want to do next is build things like marketplaces, blacksmiths, mage guilds, okay, five stone there, we want to get an altar of air, five stone there. I don't need the mine desperately, right down to the wire, I could use Labitha to go and try and um, 
unlock uh, some of these other areas, uh, things we talked about before. This one especially, very, very tempting um, to go and hit the lots of familiars. Uh, it's hard to, like, the default is to just gallop around here, smash through these knolls, um, pick up all this free stuff, set that up, come galloping back round, and then in week two, maybe on our way back round by the water elementals, come down here, hit the pikemen, come back in here, pick up maybe some air elementals, and some more sprites, obviously. Then come down and clear this uh, this guy. Get this, get this. Uh, she can't be everywhere at once. Um, so anything that's producing, constantly producing free resources for you, every turn you spend not unlocking it is a turn uh, that you're not getting that free resource. Um, so it tends to be better to leave things sitting that can wait for later at, in order to, 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 to get uh, your free resources, so to speak, uh, online. So I think we're good to end the turn. Uh, okay, day six. Lots of gnolls. I think I'm happy with one big stack. I think that's the best way of uh, configuring your sprites. Okay, so these guys are tough. Uh, health six. And defense skill six. Um, my attack skill is three. So six times twenty, they've got about 120. So call it 110. 110 health in their stack, and I'm going to deal at most about 80 odd. So this is going to be a tough fight. I'm going to need to uh, probably bless the sprites. Damage one to three. They love to be blessed. Um, and then we're going to have to try to trick the uh, the basic gnolls into not supporting their friends, which I've just about succeeded in doing, right? So these basic gnolls cannot uh, come down and attack me if I'm standing here. Uh, and so we're going to want to... Yeah, we'll bring these guys up and support. Hopefully we won't need them. Let's go for it. Bless you, my dear. Oh, well that's okay, because I can move. How bad? Oh! <laughs> I did not expect that! 40, did I do the maths wrong? I guess 44 times 3 is 120 something. It must have just barely been enough. Where's the battle log? I don't know if I can see it. She did 122 damage. It must have just barely been enough to kill them all. And uh, because Bless just takes away the variance, she's now dealing the full damage. Uh, this, I think, mathematically is going to be the exact same outcome. Uh, how far can they move to support me if I'm wrong? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Wow. These guys are great. Uh, I didn't know they can move movement 8 over grass. So your tier 2 unit has movement 7, 8 over grass. Very, very solid air elemental, I must say. Uh, this fight, all of these fights have gone way better. <laughs> that I expected. Okay. Wow, there's money to be made right here, right now. We could just do that. Push spacebar to go back. Are there any other green portal locations I should be aware of? It doesn't use any movement to do this. So you can just check to be sure. Anyway, as you can see, this is at the bottom of the map underground. Completely, randomly different location. I very much want to do this and uh, clear this. It's just a question of when do I do it on the way back? I think for the same reason we talked about before, we do do it on the way back. We don't lose much momentum by going here. In his younger days he would have done it himself, but he needs our help. A friend of mine recently had an heirloom stolen. Necklace of Swiftness. Please, please bring me anything that fits the description. Um... Necklace of Swiftness. Uh, the problem is the Necklace of Swiftness is quite good and um, gives all of your creatures plus one movement, uh, which we kind of want. Um, take this gold because it's on our way. Or oh, did that cost us? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, we won't need 11 stone, so... Okay, right. This thing here is uh, School of War will give you extra attack or defense, your choice. For a thousand gold, uh, one thousand gold is something we can't afford in the slightest at this stage of the game. 
Okay, getting ready for the end of the week. There's two days left before we get fresh pixies. We've got two choices. We can either start to build up our air elementals. Uh, no, we don't. We have to build a mage guild first. Okay, so that's something to remember, actually. Yes, they're great, but geez, you've got to do this first. Um, the problem with the mage guild is it doesn't do anything for us immediately in the fights that we're about to engage in. Well, that's not true, because we're going to fight pikemen and halberdiers after visiting the town. So it's not the worst thing in the world to build the mage guild today for two grand. And then the altar of air we will be able to afford tomorrow. Uh, the problem with that is we don't have the Garden of Life, and I really, really want the Garden of Life. <laughs> and you can already actually see the impact of that very first chest we opened with the artifact we didn't want. You can already see the effect of that. Like, being one day out, if we built the Town Hall one day sooner, we would have an extra day up our sleeve. Because we obviously have the money to do the th all of the things we want. We want to build this, this, and this. But we don't have enough days between now and the end of the week to get everything we want. And so you've got to choose, and that's what's so beautiful about the game, is it forces you to choose. Like, you have to pick one. You can either go Mage Guild Garden, or Mage Guild Altar. Or Mage Guild, and just not worry about either of them. Um, or do something else entirely. You can market those blacksmith. Blacksmith, I think, is ammo cards here. Ballistas, okay. Um... Yeah, I mean, I don't know what for sure what I'm doing, so in that scenario I pick the thing that is the biggest no-brainer, uh, and for me that's probably the garden, um, because 10 sprites, sprites as you just saw in the early game, so, so powerful. Uh, but the ramifications of that are going to be, and even this, not having that two stone, little things like that that just really add up. Uh, so, as you make, if you know you're heading, say, in this direction, it's really important that you're doing this on the way. Don't just let it auto gallop up to there. Um, even though that probably wouldn't make much difference. If there's, if getting here involves running to there, then run to there, and then get the thing. Um, like likewise here, run to the hex that you want to be on, then pick up the resource and keep moving. You'll save yourself uh, some movement over the long run by doing that. Uh, so I think we are popping in uh, to visit the gremlins. Okay, sorry, quick pause there, but uh, we're back. Um, yeah, we're going to get the gremlins. Just thinking about what we want to build on our last day of the week. Um, couldn't get our way, couldn't get all the stuff we wanted. We really wanted this thing built before the end of week one. I think, though, we know we're building this because of everything. It's the seed of everything else in the in the town I think um, it's a very magical town the conflux um, magic university comes after this there's a thing where you can teach heroes different schools you can see it there behind there uh, so there's our mage guild magic university you can pay to learn any or all of the four schools but it is quite expensive as you can see um, so certainly not something we're going to be able to afford uh, anytime soon so tomorrow we'll pop through the portal here. Week of the Mongoose suits us nicely. We don't want anything crazy. Um, we certainly don't want a week of the skeleton or something um, for the benefit of our opponent. Now, uh, the way this works is if you walk here, they'll fight the gremlins. Um, okay, so... Um, they are spread out. Um... Checking my levels and everything, they're okay. Yeah, um, given how well we went against the gnolls and imps and stuff, I think the sprites are probably going to be able to just annihilate these without spending any spell points. That morale flash doesn't scare me. Uh, now, how should I attack? I don't think I should. Possible risk of losing one if I'm a bit careless, um, which it is possible to to be careless. Now they actually have stupidly isolated themselves. These guys can't come to the rescue, so the sprites should be able to just kill these now. As you can see, um, if these guys get a morale flash, it would be bad though. 
Um, there's a wishing well on my way back, so I'm just not going to take any risks here. I, I, this is over. You would never waste five spell points doing this, but I think it's better to kill this stack, and then hopefully these guys can kill this stack, and we're just done. And we spend the five five mana points. Oh, we didn't even manage it. There you go. That shouldn't matter though. Yeah. All right, 192 experience uh, for killing the gremlins. Very nice. We are coming back, so we'll get the sulfur on the way back. Um, we really want the money. Lots of familiars guarding a spell scroll. Taking the money, as we said earlier. Ooh, that's a good weapon, the Knoll's Flail. There's a spell camp here. I really, really want to get back to base. Uh, I can't take on lots of basilisks, but I can run through here to see what's guarding the Knoll's Flail. It's probably not something I can fight anyway. <coughs> Having gone through the portal, it's worth taking the time to explore uh, a little bit because the Fog of War doesn't go away. Like, you get full access. Oh man, this is just too good to say no to. I'm going to have to stick around here. 